Don't be the slime lord. Super boots is good. But I think more damage. Alright, it's the Mormon. I will not throw away Mormon again. The blessing that is Mormon. Alright, just hit some pegs. This is the easiest battle in the game. Actually, maybe it's not. It's up there, though. I think the slime one might be easier. I know that's not really descriptive for the early game of this game, but... The one where it's just a bunch of green slimes and the, the, the bombs and stuff move around. That one's pretty free. Alright. <laughs> God damn it. I was about to say, I just want to hit some pegs here. It's actually going to hit me. Alright. Sure. Two damage. I sleep. I'm sad. I can't believe I didn't get 20 off that. God, I've only made 20 gold so far. I'm not going to have to add an orb to my deck. Just got it. Just got the 25. Alright, Critter Ball. You can do some broken things. I'll take you. Should have checked where my shop was. Who cares? I will take an early, early Relic. I'll take damage. Boring? Yes. Sometimes though, vanilla. Vanilla ice cream, it just hits the spot. I probably want the bald up here for some piercing. I like some early game piercing. I wouldn't be too upset to get the Electop Magnet. It's really just a Pachinko Gods here. All right, I'll take it. And I would probably like to go to the right, but I don't really care. I'm not going to fight the Elite. At least I can avoid it. I won't. I'll embrace it. <laughs> Goodbye, all my orbs. I'll take an, an orb or ups. And now I really want to avoid this elite. All right. Any relic I can get now that is based around reloading will be cracked. All right, didn't want to hit all those bombs, but sure. God, the echo damage is so good. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Now, it doesn't have pierce on it. It doesn't have pace on it. Which would be good. So again, I think we're back in the, the neighborhood of finding a piercing orb. If I can get this plus pace, it's like the perfect two orb combo. Debatably as well, you shouldn't upgrade this now that I remember. I forgot it gives the persist a one up as well. Which isn't really what I want. But well, maybe we'll see the second area <laughs> for the first time today. It's been some rough peggling. Okay, 75. Oh, got the kill, I suppose. I was actually just trying to farm a bit of gold there. Fine. 
you have pace. Welcome aboard. I probably want to go right here. It gives me some more options. Namely the shop, but I'm probably not going to get enough money to use the shop. Do I want a brown ball? No, just shake the tree and give me an egg. Thank you. And I'll try and go to the right. Whatever. I, I doubt we were making 50 gold before there. Okay. More cook cookie action. In fact, I could still get to that shop. I'm, I'm done. It's going to be hard to get 38 gold. Might even be impossible. I don't remember how much gold starts on a map. I think it's like 40, right? It changes as Crucible goes on, but I think it's like only like 40-ish. I mean, I'm making a, a good go at it right now. Ten more gold. Okay, I'll heal with the egg. Thank you. We get hit. But I'm close to making my money. One gold is all I need. And to go right. Unbelievable. What a great round we played there. And what's my reward? My reward is jack shit. Well, Refresh your Shield could be interesting here. Let's take it. I'm going to reload a decent amount of times. So I could look for some sort of Refresh Synergy with the Reload Synergy now. And when I refresh the board, my cookie heals me. So discarding the Persisting Orb is not as bad as it once was. All right, give me the grabby hand. I think that's going to be better than plus zero, plus one. <laughs> Do I want to fight an elite? Uh, sure. I've never been this healthy at the point of a run, and I feel pretty strong. Revenge. All right, maybe not revenge. Although that was some good damage. Get the refresh, please. All right. Refresh me. Oh yeah, we're, we're easily getting this. I actually killed the Minotaur before he hit me. What a world we live in. Let's upgrade this more. And... Attacks get minus one plus one for every crit on the board. There's only one crit on the board right now. Uh, we have to take this. I could get rid of this now. It's the perfect orb. So I now get overflow on all my orbs, which means that any excess damage is, you know, goes over to the next enemy, if you weren't aware. Perfect when you have a really... Really strong single target orb. It kind of makes the single target build viable. Now, I will say it's a bit annoying in the situation there's a 999 health tree in the way, but... We'll deal with the tree. I'm a lumberjack, I have an axe. My axe is my Ouroboros. Or Orboros, sorry for this case. 
All right, we'll take the crit. 200 damage to Molman. You hit me for 10. I sleep. The board refreshes. Maybe I shouldn't be sleeping. <laughs> Maybe this is a losable. Oh, the tree is nearly dead. No, we should be fine. I can tank a few more hits from Mormon. We're about to get another refresh as well. Alright, we hit the refresh finally. Is that the tree down? Nope, tree still up. I don't even ever beat this Mormon by killing the tree first. Debatable whether or not I did it then, but I'm going to say we did it. Keep doing it. Keep upgrading. No. All orbs get morbid. Oh, yeah. Morbid allows gold orbs to activate. Oh, sorry. Yeah, gold orbs to activate thingies. Hmm. Battle set was twice as many gold, but purchase twice as expensive. I can only aim in four directions. What is this selection? I have no refreshes on my board anymore. I don't need them. Okay, this board still has refreshes on it. This is like the one exception. Do I want to use this even? I think I still want to use this one. Specifically for this encounter. Gets the echo going. And now we just start smashing through their shields. Okay, this is good damage. Never mind, it's going to the shield, so it's going to be halved. Still destroyed someone, though. Alright, no refreshes left on the board anymore. And they are not coming back. Doesn't matter, though. I don't think I need to upgrade anything here. I think we can just save our money and go for relics. So that goal, I'd actually like to go right if I can. All right. <laughs> I'll go left, I suppose. They were both good options. Find the crit. Find 200 damage. You were close. I really want to kill that guy at the back, the magician. Because he's going to heal everyone now. Good timing. You nerd. Okay. He is dead. Everyone is dead. Let's try and get a bit of gold. Okay, block boys. Can be scary. 
They can come at you fast. But I'm hoping just to chew through them. Uh, is anyone alive? Nope. <laughs> Turns out, no, not that hard. We're good. Okay. I prefer to not fight this boss, I think. But gold. All right. We get one gold. Ooh, it's evil haggling. I have to do one of them, so goodbye. All right. Back to one. I will heal six when I reload. All right. So that negates the effect of discarding this orb. I actually gain two health now when I discard this orb. What's making this so bouncy, by the way? Is it just the orb itself? Just flying around the map right now. Pretty handy bomb there. Oh, I thought I'd get the archer with it as well. All right. Okay, we take three. Then we should be good, right? I guess one slight downside right now is I'm not actually refreshing that often. I'll take a heal. Yeah, that is a bit of a downside. We definitely want to go right here. My timing was so bad there. Not punished, though. I mean, that does nothing for me, so I'll take this, I suppose. And do I care which way I go here? Yes, I prefer to go right. So I won't even try to open this. This one I might, though. Deal 20 damage times the number of reloads to all enemies when reloading. Hang on a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I've done it. <laughs> what a stupid build. I can play Peglin without pl using the orbs. It's my dream build. It requires no skill. All right. Perfect. That should have been an achievement. Beat the game without hitting any pegs. So ranged enemies do counter me to some degree. Like, I'm taking 8 damage a turn. So I don't think this is going to work for much longer. But man, it's funny. Like, I think now it doesn't really work anymore. I mean, sorry, it would work for this battle, obviously, but from now on, it's not going to be good against the boss. Although I should, ju I should fully heal off it. Because I'm gaining two health every time I do this. Mm. 
This is when I shouldn't use the orbs versus. Because no one has a ranged weapon right now. Absolutely no one has ranged weapons. They all die next turn. Except for you. Sorry, you came late. This seems pretty good. I definitely think this was how the game was intended to be played. Okay. How many reloads would it take for me to kill the wall? A lot. It's too many. He'll eat me before then. So I do have to use my orbs here. That's fine. Because behind this build, we've actually got a really strong orb anyway. Alright, goodbye to your friend. God, you're such a tanky boy. Anyway, that's another thousand damage to you. If I can just hit like a thousand damage a turn, we're gonna be golden. Can't believe we missed that refresh, by the way. Oh well. still alive, but you probably won't be after this turn. Yeah, okay. Now, I will say we have a small issue coming up. We have a small issue coming up. You know what? Sure, I'm Matryoshka me. The small issue coming up is that strategy of not shooting my orb won't work on this floor because I think everything's going to have too much health for me to do it. Okay, funnily enough it will work on you though. As you don't attack me. It's kind of a proof of point though, it's 20 then 40 then 60. Someone can do the math, but it's going to take a while. So this was four, right? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So it's going to take 12 to kill at 1,300. So if we could get 12 free rounds, then we're good. If I can make the enemy do nothing for 12 rounds, I tell you what we need. There is a way for this to go infinite and just be immortal. I need the shield thing that when you reload, you take no damage. Because like these guys aren't gonna give me 12 turns. I think we should just use the orb. I forgot I had Matryoshka then for a second. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Not a great start. I really shouldn't have upgraded this orb either. I think that was a big misplay, honestly. It's still really good. Right, I definitely want that shot, but if I want the shot, I have to go through Hansy McGee. Okay, some prices are worth paying. 
I hate Hansi McGee. I hope it's not him. But the chance to go infinite in this game. I don't think I've ever done it before. I've had insane damage, you know, like 9,000 damage on a turn or something plus. But this would literally be, I cannot lose anymore. It'd be like zero turn killing someone in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's literally just naturally drawing Exodia during your first five cards. Sure, there's a probability it happens. But, you know, the odds are very much stacked against you. I don't think I'll ever get another run like this for a long time. How I miss those crits there, I'll never know, but sure. How much are these guys doing? Six. So, reload strats won't work against them. I wish I got the kill there, but... Oh well. I'll spend a bit of my gold to heal. And I'll risk it. Not Hansi McGee. I'm thrilled. Okay, I wish I didn't go the same way. But you know what? Maybe they know better than me. Alright, get back, foul beans. Okay, just keep this guy away. I will slowly chip away at this guy. I'm a little bit worried that I don't beat this guy right now. We do get a bit of a heal on. But he's getting stronger as well. The Matryoshka orb may have cost me this. Not like this. Hit the red bombs, I don't care anymore. I just want to get out of this zone! Uh-oh. We heal after this. We do some decent damage. I do 40 damage. I'm gonna live, I think. I missed that crit. Oh, we get out. Holy shit, I nearly lost. Alright, we'll heal. Uh, no. No. Yes. <laughs> the first time I'll take lethal damage, I no longer take lethal damage. Alright. I was going to go for the other elite fight. I think I'm going to avoid it now. That is fine. Is there another shop after this? It's not my last chance of getting it, but... I have to go for it, even if I lose this run. And there's a good chance I lose this run now. The thought of knowing that I could have... pushed one button to win all my fights... Alright, we're gonna lose. And I didn't go for it. It's too much for me. You know what? I don't hate this start. Just use all the bombs. To try and get ahead of the game a little bit.
I can't let him hit me again. I have to do 2,000 damage in like two turns. Okay, the first time I take lethal damage, I don't. That'll save me from a hit. That was awful. Why did you both go the same way again? I didn't get the crit either. All right, we're, we're, we're doomed. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> I, I don't regret a thing. I, I, I regret one thing. <laughs> God damn it. It was so close. I just needed one more shield. One more little shield. Where are you? If I got this round guard... I could have just pushed the button and won. Oh well. Well, that'll do it for this stream and this episode if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not check out my YouTube channel of the same name? Obviously, if you're on the YouTube VOD, you know where you are. But for the Twitch viewers, it's the handle is at Andalono, so you can find me there. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll be checking out the new Overwatch 2 season pass. With added penguins, I believe. New map with new penguins. Uh, and these VODs should go live tomorrow. Anyway, also on the Twitch side of things, or if you're on the YouTube side of things, why not follow me on Twitch? It's at twitch.tv slash Andalono. All the follows and subscriptions and stuff help me out immensely. And the following on the Twitch side of things costs nothing to you. And the subscribing on YouTube side of things costs you nothing either, so... Thank you as charity. Anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot for everyone that joined me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.